Hey guys, welcome back here to my channel and today to another episode of Coaster Bee Studios. I know it's been a while, maybe two, three weeks since I've shown an episode or a video uh, on this park, but I am getting back into it today. I'm doing a Kong section of the park, obviously King Kong. Um, I wanted there to be an epic roller coaster for this part of the park. So I am going to be doing like a Hulk, Credible Hulk style inspired coaster, which would be called Kong. And this will be the main feature of this area of the park. Um, so yeah, that would be today's video, kind of building the coaster, doing some theming, and then I'm going to show you a, how the area basically turned out at the end. Um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up for this video and also click on that subscribe button if you haven't already. It really does help out my channel and uh, I really appreciate it. So yeah, I'm doing this kind of B&M layout. So I've started off with doing like a launched lift hill, very similar to the Hulk, and then going into a zero G roll. And then I just want to bash out some uh, inversions. So I've got straight into a dive loop, or actually it might be an Immelman. Get yeah, straight into an Immelman. And then we're doing like the turnaround around the launch. And then we're going to go into like some sort of vertical loop. Uh, at the moment, I'm actually just kind of figuring out the layout and kind of what I should do and how it should look. Um, I have a general idea in my head of how it should be. I want the first section to be kind of quite big, big inversions. Then I want to hit a mid course break run and then I want the last part of the ride to be quite low to the ground, twisty, a couple helixes and a corkscrew. So that's kind of the general idea. Um, originally this actually was going to be on the side of the park where the minions area is and that's where it was for a long time while I built the rest of the park and then I realized that it needed to move and be on the other side and so I actually picked this up as a blueprint and just dropped it, turned it around 180 degrees and I dropped it down at the other side of the park and it actually fitted over there a lot better. Um, so I'm really happy that I did that. As you can see here, I'm just trying to figure out that last section of the coaster layout and how it should be heading up into that brake run. And originally as well, I had this river going across here, which the brake run would kind of go over and then the transfer track area and the maintenance bay would actually back onto the back of the mummy area, which was quite convenient. But um, yeah, like I said, it didn't quite work out like that. And unfortunately, I did actually move it, but for the better. So that worked out really, really well. So once that layout is done and I'm happy with it, I did actually start playing around with some theming, which pieces I should use, which for some reason I don't really have on camera. I built a nice um, station while it was over here, which was inspired by the Kong Skull Island film. Um, so that looked really cool. I'll show you that later on as I show you around the area. And then also I tried out a big piece of theming. Now, I'll get into that in just a second, but the theming element I wanted to do didn't quite work out, but I basically wanted to have some aspect of Kong there. So I thought about doing his hand holding the track, and that was the original idea that I had. So I tried to kind of flush out that idea and play around with it, um, and you'll see kind of how that turns out in a minute. So as you can see here, I've already started kind of playing around with the lift hill, building a tunnel using the future pieces uh, from the future mod set. I've um, got some great rings there that are on the angle and some tunnel pieces. Great for building Space Mountain, which I know Johnny is doing right now. These pieces are uh, really great for that. Um, I wanted to kind of create some sort of a, a tunnel as well on the launch lift hill for this ride. Um, but I wanted there to be this hand coming around that tunnel kind of as a support. I thought it was a really cool idea, but I just couldn't quite get it to look good. Um, You'll see what I mean. I'm going to show you the building process because I think it's kind of interesting. Um, but then, yeah, this doesn't unfortunately get um, get used in the park. I really wanted to do something similar, but it just didn't quite work out. But um, basically what it is, is, is lots of cylinders placed down and I kind of just moved them around and got little bits to stick out to make the kind of widths bigger and smaller in areas. Use some discs and then I basically just tried to make fingers using smaller cylinders and some spheres. And it kind of looks okay from a couple angles, but some from from some other angles looks really bad. Like it's really not good. And then I wanted to make it obviously hairy because it is an ape. But man, that really sucked. Like really bad idea what I did. Didn't look good at all. So um, I was trying to figure out which piece I could use for hair. And uh, I kind of realized that maybe um, like a bush, like a spiky bush would be really cool. Um, so I thought, oh, because they're recolorable. I thought I'd colour the spiky bush black and then um, kind of put that all over the hand and then maybe that would look like a, a hairy ape hand or something. As you can see here, it looks not too bad, like it's okay, but yeah, just not the best thing I've ever done. So just thought I'd show it today just as a bit of a laugh really. But now I'm going to go in, put on that kind of spiky bush um, as 
like a hair and yeah really bad not not my finest hour and uh, it was good to try it out but yeah this was an absolute fail so i'm um, gonna delete that and show you how the area actually turned out so here we are here is skull island this is the entrance to skull island um, which is from the Jurassic Park area. You would cross the bridge from the visitor center and that would lead you into this really cool little kind of broken up stony path. That leads you straight in underneath this huge B&M coaster, Kong, um, which is the main feature of this whole area. The area is quite small in comparison to the rest of the areas in the park, um, but it definitely has two good rides in there and a food store area. So here's the entrance to the actual Kong coaster. We have some skulls there on spikes sticking out the rock. Really cool sign, we're hanging down ropes and we've got a bridge there going over the top of the track, which was also actually inspired by the Hulk, that kind of smoky tunnel um, where the uh, train enters uh, underneath the footpath, I believe. But yeah, so then we have this really cool station up there. We have this um, tunnel coming out, which is supported by this big concrete structure in the middle. And obviously there we can see the train go in and it does hit that launch. And then we've got some fire triggers there at the end as well, which look really, really cool. So the station was one of the first things that I built um, after doing the layout. And I kind of based everything off of that. And then that kind of backs up onto a backstage area here. And I wanted to create a style that wasn't the same as Jurassic Park. Because I feel like Kong and Jurassic Park have a very similar style. And trying to make them separate and different was a bit of a challenge. But I think I achieved it. Just kind of tried to make... The Kong stuff a bit more sloped roofs, like the curved roofs, kind of Asian style, and more kind of rock and more skulls and things. Whereas Jurassic Park kind of made it more, you know, like Jurassic Park stuff. So I tried to get the difference a uh, little um, different. So here we have the entrance in from the Harry Potter area, which takes you in under a bridge there, and then we have the food area right there in front of us with some seating areas, which is right underneath that launch of the coaster. And then over here we have the entrance for the drop tower now i haven't done a sign yet for this drop tower but i will do one but that is just there on the side of the rock the queue line is all underneath that kind of skull rock that i have in the middle and um yeah originally i had the tower on the other side and then after speaking to dan on discord we decided to move the tower to the other side of the skull so i could fit in a hogsmeade for the harry potter area which i talked about in the last episode but that is the whole area that is how it looks um, I really, really like it. I think it's really cool. Um, let's just watch the coaster go around there. So we go up top there into the zero zero, and we've got those fire triggers, which are really cool. And then we've just got like some big elements diving in and out of some rocks and trees. And we've got some smog, um, fog even. Nice little kind of stall there around the launch lift into a tunnel and then into this huge um, vertical loop. I've also got those sit down mod trains on there, which I think look really cool and definitely kind of capture that kind of style of the Hulk coaster and the other kind of sit down B&Ms as well. Um, so now we're going to the second section of the ride, which we've got this nice little dip down here into some rock and then into a quartz screw, a final kind of turnaround helix and the little pop up into that brake run. As you can see there, we've got the little transfer track there as well, which I've kind of hidden up with some brick walls and some vines and things. And so it doesn't look too much like a part of the backstage area from the the rider's point of view and we've got the train there just circling back around back into that station so um it looks really really cool i'm really happy with that at night time as well i'm going to show you now we've got some really cool little fiery lanterns and things going around and that fire trigger looks even better at night time uh, when the train goes past we've got some nice kind of warm lighting some reds and things around that and we've got some lighting as well on the food area and also on that big support structure in the middle holding up that launch lift so a train's going to come along any second i hope and then we should be able to see that kind of fire trigger in the dark which looks awesome so it should be coming any second here it comes I really love that. I think the new trigger effects in the new DLC are really, really cool for that kind of thing. So thank you guys for watching. Stick around for another episode here on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe and click that thumbs up button. And I'll see you all next time for another episode. Bye.